Hey guys, it's Diamond and I am back again to show you guys how I install my full lace braided wig. Yes sis, it's a wig. So I am starting off with the bald cap method. I use got to be spray to secure my wig cap. So I am taking some alcohol and just a cotton pad and I'm wiping off the outline so that there's no residue so the glue can stick properly. As far as the details for this wig, they will all be in the description box. So make sure you check it out so you can get yourself a gorgeous supernatural full lace braided wig. Check the description boxes. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my scalp protector by Walker and I'm going to apply that around my hairline. This is going to provide a seal between your skin and the glue. It's going to make sure that you don't mess up your skin and it's also going to make your install last a lot longer. All right, so now I'm putting this wig on, just placing it so I can see where to apply the glue. Don't worry about those little scragglies in the back of the cap. We're going to cut that off later. I cut the middle of my lace and the sides just to make it a little easier to move around. When you have the whole band across, it's kind of hard to move the extra lace out of the way. So just snip, snip, snip. So once I see exactly where I want my wig to lay, I am going in with my lace grip and I am just outlining. As you can see where my hairline is and where my skin is, there is cap. So I'm going along the cap and then I am going to push it back. It's going to be on the wig cap so it's fine. As long as you guys remove your glue and your lace safely, you will have no problem with the glue being in your hair. You will have no issue. So just make sure you do safe removal. Like I said, I am going to push it back onto the cap closer to my hairline, but it's really still not in my hairline. So feel free to do as many layers all the way across as you want. This is my final layer so I am going to start with the middle. I added some more glue to the middle of my head and then I'm going to lay my wig down and then I'm going to do the same with both sides. When I'm using my blow dryer I am using the cool setting.
Okay, so I am unraveling the little hair that was left braided for the baby hairs. Unfortunately, I should have adjusted the camera so I could show you guys removing the excess lace. But what I'm using is an eyebrow razor. I use the eyebrow razor to cut off the excess lace as close to the hairline as possible. Where you want the hairline to sit, you're going to cut as close as possible. And then I am using the same eyebrow razor. This one it looks a little different, but any eyebrow razor will work the same and I am cutting my baby hairs with it. Okay, now we got those fresh newborns. I am taking this Nairobi wrapping foam and I'm going to put it across my hairline. So what I found the key to doing your baby hairs as easy and as nice as possible is putting a lot of wrapping foam, not a little bit. And I am using a comb. When you're using a lot of wrapping foam, the comb is actually way easier and you just, you know, flick it a race, you know, whip the brick. It's really not hard at all. So I really like this method more than using gel, more than using anything else. As long as you've set your glue correctly, your lace will not lift. So... period sis so this is the final look i went ahead and did my makeup i let my scarf sit and lay and slay this hairline and these baby hairs this is my first full lace braided wig and i love it so much all the info will be down in the description box if you're anything like me you love braids but you hate sitting and waiting to get them done so this is an amazing super natural looking alternative Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all your notifications. Thanks.